Now, with the end of title, title 42, it's actually been quiet in Nogales. Not on your side's Craig Smith joins us live now at the Deconcini port of entry with more on what he's seeing out there, Craig. Well, you know, if anyone was, was expecting to see a large wave of migrants passing through here, that simply did not happen. We have not seen large groups coming out of this port and it mostly seemed just business as usual. This is video we saw yesterday of migrants boarding buses, most likely headed for the large Casa Alita shelter in Tucson. CBP told us since Title 42 was still in effect when we saw this, these migrants would have been admitted under 42 rules still in place at the time and probably had appointments that allowed them to come in to consider asylum claims. The most conspicuous thing at the Deconcini port of entry now is long lines of cars headed into Mexico, and that's a typical sight on any Friday. We met Maria and Carlos Cardenas coming out of a smaller pedestrian-only gate. They say they saw nothing unusual on the U.S. or Mexico sides of the border. What, what do you think of just all the, the anxiety and anticipation there's been surrounding the whole Title 42 thing? I think that it's real, if that's what you're asking, yeah. um, but not so much at these, this border or um, the smaller borders, I don't think have the problem. Nogales residents say they are pleased the end of Title 42 has not brought the heavy disruption that had been feared. Now, this port, the Deconcini port, is the only one of three ports in Nogales designated as a spot for processing incoming migrants. Now, the design of this port could be part of why things seem so low profile here. The port itself is well enclosed, and it's very hard to see what's going on inside the port, like the processing of incoming migrants. Reporting live in Nogales, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.